Mom and I love cooking. So today we are making key lime cookies. For today's for today's recipe, you will need one cup of unsalted butter, room temperature, which is about 72 degrees Fahrenheit, two cups of sugar, two eggs, one and a four, one fourth cup of key lime juice, three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one half teaspoon fine salt, two cups prepared key lime curd, prepared key lime curd, and one cup of powdered sugar for sprinkling. And if you have an anchor, and if you have an apron, I suggest you use it. Booyah! So, your first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Adults, you might want to do this if your kid is planning to make key lime cookies. Our oven is set. And let's begin! In a larger bowl, with a, you have to use an electric mixer. Cream the butter and sugar until, until they're fluffy. Let's look over here. I put the sugar in, and now I'm adding two sticks of butter. One stick is roughly a half a cup. Do you need to put it in whimsically? No. Okay. <laughs> but you can. <laughs> okay, so while we wait for her to finish putting in the butter... Should we get us some commercial announcements? We are going to some commercials. So now let's wash my mouth. Thank you for those commercials, everybody. So now let's wash my mouth. You might want to let the butter thaw a little bit. But make sure it's still at room temperature. Make sure to get it nice and fluffy. How are you doing, Mom? I'm doing good. Okay. So while you're doing that, you might want to add the eggs one at a time and the lime juice and mix well when you're done with that. But for now, let's dirty over, let's take a tour of our new kitchen. Okay. So here's the fridge. We've had this one for a while now. Now look at our cool cabinets. It pulls out with two already there. And we can stack a lot of produce in one spot. We also have a new stove. So you might not want to touch it. But here it is. And this one doesn't pull out. But it's still pretty big. And you can store your vacuum cleaner or anything else in here. And it has a little door to put all your bags and stuff that you want in there. Uh -huh, well, it's crying. Okay. Well, we're going to take a little break. And we'll be right back. Now that the batter is nice and fluffy, you are going to crack the egg. You might want to get a little cup to put the shell in. Now you get another egg and crack it. And then after that, give it to an adult or anybody who's in charge, or set it down on a different counter. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say to do after the eggs are in? Does it say then to add the lime juice? And we're going to keep mixing it? Yeah. 
You might not want to let your dogs in the kitchen while you're making tea lot of cookies. Or in the Nesca! Or while you have a giant bag. Can you go check on the Okay. Okay. So we're going to get another commercial break in. Now that you're done with putting the eggs in, in the lime juice, you're going to put some all-purpose flour into a bowl. I mixed it with baking powder and a little bit of salt. Now we're going to put it in the bowl just a little bit at a time while I... You want to do three cups at the one. For... Sink if possible. It's the only time we advocate for here. Now we're going to take there. another commercial break and we'll see you in about three minutes. So now that you're done with that, you are going to take your dough and make a little ball just as I did and set it on your placemat or whatever you have cookie sheet, pizza pie. And then you're gonna put, a, you're gonna make a thumbprint, not all the way in there, because we're gonna put lemon curd. We're gonna put lime curds. Mm -hmm. So while my mom is doing that, you might want two people to make the job go faster. This recipe will make three dozen cookies, so it'll make quite a few cookies. You might want to sell some of them at a bake sale and eat about a dozen for your church. That's what we're using them. So, once we get these on here, we're going to put the lime curd in. We're going to put them in the oven and cook them for about 15 minutes until they're uh, sort of a brownish color. Okay. So, should we start putting the curds? Should we start putting the curds in while you're making more? Well, let's finish putting this pan, and then we'll. Um, while I'm making the next rolls, you can put the um, curd in. How okay. does that sound? Okay. Make sure that you get enough room on the pan. Okay. Filmer, do you have any questions? C can I eat the raw dough? Uh, uh, no, you cannot. No. Mm -mm. No. We can. No. <laughs> Filmer, you're going to be asked to leave. <laughs> but he's the one that's filming your show. 
Okay, so we're going to take a short commercial break, and we'll get back to you when it's time to put in the curtains. Now that we have a tray of cookies with holes in them, we are going to put in with this very thin spoon our ready-made lemon curd. Lime curd. <laughs> So this cookie has a little too much, and you can use your finger a little. And that cookie has about the right that you want to put in an average size cookie. So you get a little, and you put it in. You can use your finger a little if it's a little hard to get off. Don't use it too Perfect. much. Perfect. Yeah, be that's very good. Gentle. Just yeah, just like that. And keep and continuously keep doing this. And continuously do this until all your cookies are filled. Just continuously keep doing it. And then put it in the oven for how long? Uh, 15 minutes. Okay, for 15 minutes. And when they're done, do anything you want with them. When they're done, we need to put them onto a wire rack to cool. When they come out of the oven. And then once they're cooled, you can do anything you want with them. That's right. Sell them in a bake sale, eat them. I would choose eat them. Can you feed them to your dog? Um, there's a little too much stuff. Our dogs will be dead. There's a little too much stuff in there. Okay, so after, so after that, you will live happily ever after until our next show. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for joining us.